Click in the blank line after the body tag and type a less than symbol, the word font, a space, and the word face, followed by an equal sign. In quotes, enter the word Arial and finish the tag with the greater than symbol. Notice we have added the face attribute with a value of Arial. Arial is a fairly standard font available on most machines. In a minute, we'll add a closing font tag, and all the text between the two will be displayed in the Arial font. First, let's put a header at the top of our resume page. Press Enter to begin a new line. Start by adding an opening center tag, and on the same line, add the opening H1 tag. Type Suzanne Student, followed by the closing H1 tag, and the closing center tag. It is important to note that tags must always be closed in the opposite order that they were opened. For instance, in the code we just added, we started with the opening center tag, which means that we should also end with the closing center tag. The code will not work properly if we close the center tag before we close the H1 tag. If the opening H1 tag is inside the opening center tag, the closing H1 must also be inside the closing center tag. This system, known as nesting tags, is one of the most basic rules of HTML. It's probably pretty obvious what the center tag is going to achieve in this code, but the H1 tag is a little less obvious. This is one of six heading tags that can be used to create headline-like text. In the browser, open a file located in the Student Files folder on the lesson CD called headings.html. This file demonstrates the heading tags. The heading tags range from H1 to H6. H1 displays the largest text and H6 the smallest. When you're finished looking at the headings, press the back button on the browser to return to the resume file. Let's add one more quick tag before we look at our changes in the browser. Add the closing font tag right after the closing center tag. This tells the browser to display only the single line of text using Arial font. Let's take a look. Save the file in Notepad and refresh the browser. Remember, our first line of text has three tags applied. First, we see it is centered on the page due to the center tag. It is displayed large and bold because of the H1 tag and it is in a different font than the rest of the page. 